Hiya, welcome back to my channel. It's Wendy here from Toon Pitch Crafts and I hope you're doing okay. Today we're going to have a play around with glow in the, glow in the dark pigments, if I can say it. <laughs> I do love glow in the dark things. I love neons. I love anything like that. I really do. Bright, bright colours, I absolutely adore. And these are Let's Resin Glow in the Dark pigments. And I can't wait to try these really looking forward to it now i have used glow in the darks before i know the ones i've used have sunk and i'm pretty sure they all do so i'm going to play around with them see which ones come out best see which ones i like and yeah see what can come out with so the let's resin glow in the dark pigments were purchased from amazon as it's pretty much the only place in the uk we can get them and the colors are purple green yellow blue blue green magenta yellow green coral sky blue salmon gold and fuchsia so glow in the dark pigments are not the same as mica powders they're heavy they're, they're a consistency like sand so i'm going to pour a generous amount in each cup and just put a tiny amount of resin in so I can pour it into a mold. Now obviously I need this many cups because there's this many colors and I'm gonna start small by using a gem stone mold. And I do actually go on to write the color of each of the powders on the cups, just so I'm aware which one is which because a lot of them do look quite similar. I'm going to be using Vista Cascade for this. I've run out of turbo at the moment, so it's Cascade. And once I'm all set up with the resin I've mixed, I'm going to pour in a little bit in each cup and give it a good stir. Now with the Vista Cascade, it does give you a little bit more open time. It's about 35 to 40 minutes open time. That is a rough guide because it depends on how much you have in the cup what you've mixed into it, what the temperature is and lots of other factors involved as well. But I've got quite a lot of colours to mix so 35 minutes I should be fine. I don't think I'll have anything go off in the cup. As usual I've sped up most of this video for ease of viewing and sometimes I, you see the beginning and the end of something but that saves you sitting through the whole thing. If you have any comments, questions or ideas please use the comment section below and I will get back to you. And welcome to all those new subscribers. Don't forget, I'll be calling out the winner of the 4K giveaway in this video at some point. So these moulds that I have in front of me, some are shallower and some are deeper. So I'm trying to put a mixture of each of the colours across the board in different shapes, in different depths, so I can see how well they work in the dark once they're cured. They may work better in shallow moulds than deeper ones, but we'll find out. So that was sky blue. This is the green. Now anybody that knows me knows I do not like green. But it does seem to be that green is the best colour for glow in the dark. Don't ask me why, I'm not a chemist, but it does seem that way. So each time I'm changing colour I am giving the cup a good stir. That is because the powder settled at the bottom and I'm trying to free it up so that it's incorporated in all the bits that I pour out. This colour is the coral. I'm sorry it's not in the same order as the originally when I poured it out, but all the cups got mixed up, I'm afraid. That's a good job I wrote on them what they were. And this colour is fuchsia. Now, some of the colours actually are very similar to each other. For instance, this one is blue-green. And then you've got salmon, which is the orangey colour. Yellow, which is very, very bright. blue which you can't really mistake it is blue then you have the gold which is a lighter version of the yellow and then magenta and then you have purple which you can't really mistake purple is purple and then you have the yellow green before I cover them up to cure, I give them a quick spritz with isopropyl alcohol to try and eliminate some of the surface bubbles. And I cover them up with a plastic lid. 
Now I do have some colouring left over so I decided to pour them in a pen blank mould that I have. I thought I'd just mix up all the colours and see what we get at the end. I thought maybe I'd have enough for all four but literally really I could only manage three. So I just poured in all the colours on top of each other. Now I did think that most of the glow in the dark pigment would sink to the bottom but the, the one on the left has a spiral piece of resin already in it and I thought that would be probably the best bet for this. So 24 hours later and it's time to demould to see what these colours have come out like. Now obviously we're not going to know whether they glow in the dark until it's dark. But you can see how some of them, this green one has sunk. The colouring mostly has sunk to the bottom. I'll give you a couple of examples to show you how it is. The lighter colours are easier to see how the powder is sunk to the bottom. Now it's not such a big deal in small items like this and I will be using these in another project. But if you was making a bigger item like a skull or a teddy bear, you're going to have to buy a lot of powder to cram that powder into the 3D thing that you're casting because it will sink to the bottom. You're going to have to buy a lot of powder for that. So maybe these kind of small pieces that I'm doing here are better for the glow in the dark because you can spread them out into other pieces and yeah, I'm going to be doing that in the next couple of weeks. As they are in daylight, there's some really bright colours and they're gorgeous. Now as for the pen banks, I'm looking forward to turning these even though I think most of the glow in the dark powder will be in the bottom of the bank and will get turned away when you make the pen. I still think there might be some glow in the dark in there and we'll have to wait and find out for that. But they came out really lovely. The colours themselves are gorgeous anyway. So regardless of whether they're glow in the dark or not, they're bright colours. And the one with the spiral piece in the middle is my absolute favourite. That was just leftover resin I twisted round and put in the blank, pen blank. So as you know, I'm new to turning. But it is a lot of fun, I do enjoy it and I'm still learning and because I'm learning I'm enjoying it even more. Making pens is quite quick for some people, it takes me a little longer obviously because I'm new at it. But I really enjoy the process and I love the outcome at the end. So once I've turned it to the shape that I want it then it's time for sanding and I start at 240 grit and work my way up to 400 grit and then I use Yorkshire grit. Yorkshire grit is a wet sanding system and it makes it a lot easier and quicker to sand. It'll take it up to about a thousand grit. Then I go on to microfine which takes the sanding up to about 2500 grit. So using those two really reduce my sanding time. Once that's done, it's on to micro crystalline wax from Chestnut Products to make it shine. So after all this, we need to know if the pieces actually glow in the dark. So let's see. They do. How cute is that? I do love glow in the dark. It's just so amazing. I feel like a big kid when I see them. I just, I think they're just wonderful. I am a big kid really, and I? But this film was taken obviously before I turned the pens and I wanted to see if the pen blanks actually did work as well. So I primed them with a torch. And then I turned the tor torch off and yes, look at that glow. Absolutely beautiful. So now I expect you're all waiting to hear who won the giveaway last week. Well, Let's have a look. This is a recording of my computer screen. And as you can see, it is Monday the 11th of April at 12 minutes past one in the afternoon. Now I'm going to go on to my original video and click the URL and save it and pop it into the random comment generator so it can find the comments. Now I'm also going to click the duplicate user 
and I'm going to put in the word choice, which is the word I asked you to place into the comments for enter into this. Whoever wins this will just have six days to contact me. If I don't hear anything in six days, I will draw another winner and let you know in the next video. It's found 151 comments. So let's start the draw and see who's won. Congratulations, Debs Withers. If you can comment in this video, I would be grateful or you can email me via my email address that is on the information page. I absolutely love how these pens turned out, especially the Sparrow one. Now I'm not a green fan, so you know that that's not gonna be my choice anyway, but the Spiral one has so many colors in it and the glow in the dark is just gorgeous. So thanks very much for joining me for this one. Come back and see me next week because you never know what I'm gonna be up to. Congratulations to the winner. Have a great week. Happy crafting. Bye for now.